All right, well, thank you for clicking on this video here. Me and Pop are going to go outside and do a couple things today, but it's raining. So I figured I'd just take this time. I was going through my stuff, cleaning, cleaning things up, putting stuff away. I just figured I'd show this is a rifle I had. I bought this thing so many years ago. I just seen a chipmunk jump in the barn over there. I do have some ammo for this. We should try that. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I bought this gun years ago. Uh, this is an actual set me rifle, sort of. So the Mars Corporation imported, I think like 2,000 of these. And it kind of did, this is a Century Arms version. Uh, so they kind of did what Mars did originally. Then Century Arms teamed up with PTR, I do believe, to make their own receivers and their own barrels, <clears throat> because I'll go over a couple things on there. This one's pretty unique. You can tell it's a set me, an actual set me uh, receiver, because safe is up there, or I'm sorry, yeah, fire is up there, safe's there, and then under, the, this is painted, under the paint, there's another marking for full auto, and you can also tell this is a set me lower, because mine actually has the notorious third spot. FBI, open up! So it actually does have a full auto uh, selector in it. Sorry, guys. Uh, don't worry, ATF, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this gun apart. I'll show you right here that it is not full auto. The disconnect, they, there's no disconnector in there. And you can also tell this is pinned, crimped in here, so you can't take the trigger pack out and put a full auto one in there. It's extremely easy though. <laughs> so they do certain things. So when they imported them, uh, they, they had a brass, a piece of brass like uh, this, uh, welded on there i just ground it off because it's annoying when you go and when you shoot the gun you got to go up there to fire so i just go down there it's still just semi-auto and then you go back up to safety just like a normal one and again i'll take it apart so you can tell it's not a full auto so well, i'll show you right now so we'll put it there make sure she's clear see if we can get that squirrel out there okay it goes boom boom diggity Still depressed. So, uh, I'll take you apart and show you the trigger group. Uh, with these ones, so like I said, this is a semi lower. Uh, the barrel, I think, is a semi barrel too because this is welded on there. When they made their own barrels, they have like a chevron brake on there. And so, they, it's just like a parts kit. Uh, the furniture, I'm not sure on this one because it doesn't have the set me uh sling on here but other than that it is pretty much just like you would have in the spanish army what they had to do to import these they had to because they're all machine guns they had to make it to the point or had to make it to where they had to do certain things so it wasn't easily converted back to full auto even though i think it might be the easiest one ever in the world so they got they got rid of uh they changed this down here. I can't remember what the thinking was on that. But it, you had to stake these so you just couldn't pull the, the trigger pack out and put a disconnector in, which is insanely easy. And then t -t 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 -t, and they put that there, which you're allowed to do. It doesn't do anything. It's just like a different safety switch. Uh, and they had to, these sights are unique to the set me. It's that roller type there. I thought they had to do something else to import them. But maybe not. See, so, yeah, I'll take it apart here and just show you a little bit about it. It's a pretty neat setup. You just pull these two pins out here. This one's pretty new. Like, I always had problems with it. I think it was because it was brand new. Like, it just was never really shot before. Now it runs great. Uh, magazines that take the 20 round mags. I used to buy these for a dollar. Now I bought some new ones from Apex just the other day. They were uh, these are brand new, self Cosmoline on them. Uh, I think eleven bucks, which whatever. So, what else I can say about it? 
Yeah, she's really good now. Before, it just didn't all... So they're stamped 308 cal. The original ones are 7.62 by 51. Which, if you know, 308 actually has more case pressure than the, the NATO. But they're pretty close. They're pretty similar. So, yeah. Let me get it taken apart here. I'll show you the insides real quick. And, yeah. Okay, here it all is pretty much taken apart. You gotta just take them two pins out, and usually they get loose on there. You can just wiggle them off, and then your trigger group drops out the bottom. You used to be able to buy these, <clears throat> the full auto ones. I just seen one go for like 75 bucks, but you definitely can't buy them and put them in here. You can legally, you just gotta do the paperwork. But you can see this doesn't have the disconnector, would sit right here. So when your bolt comes forward, I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> What it does, cause it's real, it's real easy. FBI, open up! But yeah, you can see. So, hammer back. So, yeah, and the me too. If the safety's on, it won't. So, you know, safety. Then you put up single or semi catches, and then uh, yeah, put it back down here in a third slot go and yeah so normally like i said your bolt come forward do something back here which i ain't gonna show you and then that would release the hammer once the bolt got into battery so that actually is a set me lower the triggers on them are yes mm -hmm. not good but the recoil of this gun is amazing like for a 308 it's like shooting a 223 got that big spring there it takes up like all the recoil I mean, it is a very nice rifle. Accuracy, you know, I don't think I ever really tried grouping this thing. Right, let's take the bolt out. Just, just like that. Slides out the back. One thing I did do with this, I changed these rollers in here. Because when I got it, like I said, it was not shooting. And you can measure the distance. It's been so many years. You can measure that with a Phillips. Yeah, Phillips. A filler's gauge, sorry. And then I think that pin retains them. It's been so long. I can't even remember. But yeah, she's a little dirty. Might, might have to clean it. I did not clean this gun. <laughs> this gun is the way it is. But yeah, so you can see straight through there. That's where the uh, recoil rod goes through. And yeah, so it's just. Uh, this would just be like a blowback because it has these that kind of. There's a spot in there, it sits in there. You can see, see, you can see down the barrel, ain't too bad. There it is that. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, yeah. There it is. It's, uh, gonna take it out, shoot it some more. I guess so, because this would just be the charging handle. So, yeah, the, I guess that's how the delayed blowback works, that it doesn't have an actual gas port there. I don't think so. No, it could be. No. Yeah, it's been forever since I messed, even picked up this guy. I was just going through my shit, and I had this out the other day shooting it. It's the first time I took it apart in years. But, yeah, that roller sits up in there and kind of wedges itself in there. So, it let, lets the pressure kind of build up. There's that fucking squirrel again. I'm going to kill a goddamn bastard. He keeps... <laughs> He's determined. He's the most determined squirrel I have ever seen. There he is, under my car. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blast that bastard. Got a mouthful of nuts. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, just wanna make a quick little video just showcasing this pretty unique rifle that I like. It's fun to shoot. I'm gonna take it out and shoot some more. My first guy, I was shooting expensive ammo out of it. That might've been the issue. I got real crap ammo. It just runs flawlessly now, which is awesome. So I'm gonna clean it up, put her back together. And stay tuned because I just ordered a Bonds Arm Cyclops 50 AE Derringer, which should be here any day. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I was gonna go do some shooting today, but it's raining, so I'm just spending a day inside doing this. So, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one.